everybody, T-Man again, bringing you guys another video, 23 now days away from Wrestlemania 31, and I'm continuing, guys, the countdown to Wrestlemania 32, with the, I mean, our countdown from the worst all the way to the best Wrestlemania, in my opinion, and here we go, let's start the countdown, as you've seen the thumbnail, this is Wrestlemania 20. 24 and here if you guys missed the, the previous count up shame on you go back and watch those videos to see why I ranked each Wrestlemania exactly where I do I don't just pull out these numbers from my ass I give reasons why I rank them where I do at number 31 was Wrestlemania 11 at Wrestlemania 30 um the 30th ranked is Wrestlemania 16 number 29 was Wrestlemania 22 um, number 28 on the countdown was WrestleMania 9. Number 27 on the countdown was WrestleMania 2. Number 26 on the countdown was WrestleMania 8. Number 25 on the countdown was WrestleMania 23. Number 24 yesterday on the countdown was 20, uh, was 7, WrestleMania 7. And today on the countdown is WrestleMania 24. And here's the reason why this was a very good WrestleMania once again. Just because there are higher numbers means that I don't dislike these WrestleManias. I like these WrestleManias. And to tell the truth, I had 24, like, kind of towards the top of, like, being the worst ones at first. But then once when I rewatched it and watched a lot of things in this, uh, this had three, uh, um, this had some, some matches, uh, specifically two matches, that really uh, made me pull this thing down a little lower on the list all the way down to 23. I originally had this thing at like maybe 27, maybe 26, and I moved it all the way down to 23 because there were some touching moments in this match. Um, and believe me, it wasn't the first match on the card, which was JBL defeating Fit Finley. Uh, second match on the card was the Money in the Bank, CM Punk winning the match. And at the time, CM Punk wasn't a big name, so take that in, in mind. Batista picking up the win over Umaga. Shawn Michaels, and here's the first match that kind of touched my heartstrings against Ric Flair and Ric Flair's retirement match. Um, that was just a good story, a good cap off. Shawn Michaels pulling the trigger and putting the old dog Ric Flair to sleep. Playboy Bunny match. Okay. And here's another one. John Cena, Triple H, and Randy Orton. For the title, for the WWE title in a triple threat match. Pretty legendary, those three guys coming together in a triple threat match. But I don't think it was built right at the time. Randy Orton picking up the win there. And here's another match, in my opinion, that fell on its ass. Uh, Big Show versus Floyd Mayweather. Um, I thought that did not hit the mark. Um, I thought they were trying too hard. To relive what they did with Mike Tyson. And it didn't quite pan out that way. So I would say that. Um, that Big Show probably. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, the, uh, I, th I think that was a bad move for Big Show. But yeah Floyd, Mayweather, yeah. Floyd Mayweather picks up the win there. And finally in the main event. The Undertaker. Taking on Edge. And this was a good one year storyline too. Because let's backtrack at WrestleMania 23. Undertaker beating Batista, right? You had Mr. Kennedy winning the Money in the Bank, right? What happens? Kennedy gets injured. Edge picks up the Money in the Bank and, like, kind of almost immediately cashes in on the Undertaker, stealing the title from the Undertaker. And now, almost a year later, where the Undertaker was chasing Edge for a year, finally gets the uh, Edge in the ring at WrestleMania. Undertaker picking up the win, closing out the show. With the Undertaker, the legendary guy, streak versus streak, as Edge at the time had had a win streak going on, winning the World Heavyweight Title and reserving the streak at the time. Uh, very short. There was only eight matches on the card. Um, nothing like I, uh, how how I did on my uh, last WrestleMania review in WrestleMania Seven yesterday, where there was fourteen matches. On the card, and uh, this WrestleMania 24 only had eight matches, and it was four hours. And WrestleMania 7 had like 13, 14 matches, and it was like two and a half, three hours. So it's kind of funny. It just goes to show you how long the matches are, and the stories, and all the inner stuff they put in the middle. So, anyways, that'll conclude uh, number 23 in the countdown. Stay tuned for tomorrow for number 22 on the countdown. And for you don't miss any of my countdown videos, make sure you subscribe, thumb up, thumb up, and share. Get me out there. Help. Uh, let's do it together. And, of course, put all your comments down below. I'm going to talk to you about it. I'm going to talk wrestling. I'm going to talk MMA. I'm going to talk all of it with you. So um, go ahead and leave your comments down below, and I'll see you guys next time.